Hi, my name is Brandon Grazley. I'm a high school math teacher, and today we're going to look at how to use a TVM calculator, a time value money calculator, to calculate the uh, payments or future value, present value, and so on for investments or loans or other kinds of annuities. So I'm going to do three examples with you, show you how they work using this calculator. It's at zenwealth.com slash business finance online, and if you go there, you'll find the link, the complete link. So here's a, a problem situation. You have uh, you find an investment account that will pay 4% interest per year. That's the APR, annual percentage rate, and that's compounded monthly. You decide to put $50 per month into the account for four years. How much money will be in the account at the end of four years? So over here, we, uh, we uh, start filling in some boxes. We're not going to fill in everything because uh, we don't... Um, <clears throat> So we're going to leave a spot to for the calculator to fill in some stuff for us. So to begin with, we start off with no money in the account. So I'm going to put a zero for present value. The payment that we're making is $50, but we're going to put a, the value negative 50. The reason it's negative, think of it like this. If you are t put, putting money into your wallet, your personal wallet that you carry with you, that would be a positive number. If you're taking money out of your wallet to put into this account, that's a negative number. So negative 50. Uh, the future value we don't know. That's what we're trying to find. The rate we do know. Now this calculator happens to use the annual percentage rate. Uh, some calculators will use the what's called the period rate, the amount that you earn on a, per compounding period. So in this case, if I had that sort of calculator, I would have to take that number 4 and divide it by 12 because I have 12 months in a year, 12 compounding periods. How many compounding periods t in total will I use? 12 per year, four years, that's 12 times four is 48. And I've already got it set to monthly. You can see there are other options here. Some calculators have even more. And what I'm trying to find is the future value. So I'll click this button and you can see the future value is a positive number, $2,597.98. And I'm just gonna show you if I were to change this number to like $100, See, the future value was about 2600 If I click FV again, there we go. I get uh, a little bit more, about twice as much. Uh, and so that's how this calculator works. If you fill in the parts that you know and uh, press the button at the bottom for the parts that you need to know. So that's an investment, putting money away every month, and it's earning interest. What if you're getting a loan? Here's a car loan. You want to borrow $12,000 to buy a used car. The bank's okay with that. They're going to give you a loan at a rate of 8.5% per year, compounded weekly. And you know that you can afford $75 per week for the payments. How long will it take to pay off the loan? All right, so let's see what we start with here. Well, the rate we can fill in pretty easily. That's 8.5%. The present value is, uh, again, is you have to think about your own sort of personal carry-it-with-you wallet. You're going to borrow $12,000. The present value is $12,000, and it's a positive number because that's money that the bank is going to give to you at the beginning of this process. They get, now, you use it to buy a car, but it's money that you have at the beginning. So uh, you're going to make some payments. You know that you can make a payment of $75 per week. That is going to be negative. That's money that comes out of your wallet that you give back to the bank. And notice these are opposites. You start with $12,000 and you're gonna be giving up money every week. The future value is zero. It's zero because at the end of this whole process, the, the loan will be completely paid off. You won't have the loan anymore. It's all finished. And we're trying to find the number of periods. We are compounding weekly. And let's see, uh, we're, we're gonna click the periods button here now. See, we get a positive number. If you get an error here, then probably one of your signs is wrong over here. And so the period is 185 uh, weeks. Uh, there's about 50-ish weeks in a year, so this is a little less than four years. So that's probably a reasonable term to pay off a loan like this. All right. I should have mentioned one more thing there. Uh, a lot of the time, instead of a payment frequency, uh, sorry, instead of finding a number of periods like this, you're going to say, well, I'm going to do this for three years. And so you'll put in, uh, what would that be, 150 six weeks and then you calculate your payment I'm just gonna click the payment button would be eighty seven dollars per week and so uh, you can uh, sort of adjust things to be a nice round number uh, afterwards if you want to all right a payout annuity 
So this is the case where you have a bunch of money and you're withdrawing it over time. So in this example, uh, you win the lottery, congratulations. Um, not a great idea to play the lottery, but you know, help yourself. Instead of spending the money on more lottery tickets, you do something wiser. You invest the entire $250,000 in an account that pays 3.2% interest per year, and it's compounded monthly. How much money can you withdraw from the account each month if you want it to last for 30 years? So you're putting a chunk of money into an account, and then you're sort of using living off the interest and also some of the principal, some of the original money that you put in, and you're going to deplete it over the course of 30 years. So the present value is negative $250,000. Yes, you won the lottery, but you're going to take all of that money that, that the uh, lottery corporation gave you, and you're going to put it into an account. It comes out of your wallet, goes into the account, and so this is a negative number. The rate is 3.2%. The payment amount, well, we don't know that. How much can you withdraw each month? That's what we're trying to find. 30 years. Well, there are 12 months in a year. In 30 years, then, there'd be 12 times 30, 360 periods. The future value is zero. Again, we're going to deplete it down to nothing, just like that loan that we had, except we're going the opposite direction. And we're using a monthly period, monthly compounding period. And we need to find out the payment. So I'm going to click Payment. And we get $1,081.17. And notice this is a positive number because this is money that comes from the account and goes into your personal wallet. Um, if you choose something different for future value, for example, I want to make sure that after 30 years I still have uh, $100,000 in the account, my payment here should drop if I click this. And it does. Actually, it doesn't drop by a ton, $150 a month. So if you can live on less, uh, you know, you can uh, keep some money for a much longer period of time. Okay, so uh, actually there's one more thing I'll show you. What if you had the left the future value at $250,000? That means that you put two fifty dollars in and you get two fifty dollars out after 30 years. That means you're sort of living off just the interest. If I click the payment key, you see you get this nice round number here. This will often happen. This is just you taking the interest every month. And so it, it'll be the interest that you earn on a quarter million dollars at this rate every month. That's what the payment will be, and you'll always have the same amount of money in the account. So that's how you use a TVM, Time Value Money Calculator, uh, for an investment, for a loan, and for an annuity. I hope that helps, and uh, thanks a lot.